Most normal people think that neurotypical people don't have any hobbies. And although they do struggle to form attachments to new skills, the reality of the situation is far more nuanced. People with neurotypical spectrum disorder do have hobbies. We need to understand they experience them in a very different way to normal people. One reason people with neurotypical spectrum disorder are seen as having no hobbies is because they often have one, me. Sometimes too. So for example, when you're talking to a normal person about hobbies, the conversation might go something like this. Hey, tell me about your hobbies. Oh, I crochet. Do you have keto? Gate. Surf. Code. Whittling. Felting. Play the banjo. 15 minutes later. Painting and riding a unicycle. Well, obviously with a normal person, it's quicker to ask, what's your hobby this week? And having the same conversation with a neurotypical person, it might go something like this. Hey, tell me about your hobbies. Oh, um, I like to cook. Okay, so I know you're confused because cooking's a chore, not a hobby. And this is one of those nuances I was talking about. Neurotypicals will often confuse hobbies and chores. You've even heard some say that they enjoy cleaning. But here's something important we all need to know about neurotypical spectrum disorder. Their brains being wired differently, they have what is called an importance-based nervous system, meaning they enjoy things that seem important to them rather than fun. No, that sounds made up, but there is science-backed evidence for this. Neurotypical people will become distressed and even have anger outbursts if the things they deem as important are not completed. You've probably all seen this when you forgot to do the dishes. Another thing to keep in mind, that neurotypical just don't have the attention span to learn 217 new hobbies just for funsies. They really need to take a lot of breaks to go to the bathroom, drink coffee to stay awake, eat, snack, have another coffee, have another snack, etc, etc, etc. It can be really frustrating if you have to work with a neurotypical and you're just trying to get your work done in a 17 hour stint. So yeah, neurotypicals have one, maybe two hobbies for their entire life. Yes, I said lifespan, not just two weeks. They'll just shallow dive right in and learn things that are much slower paced. And a year later, they'll learn something that you learnt in the first day. But hey, as long as they're happy, that is the only requirement of a hobby. Hope this info helps.